A Louisville barber is trading in his shears for retirement after decades of friends and memories. WDRB's Joel Skipper found out why clients say he is a cut above the rest. Coming in here has been like monthly therapy. Hi, Don. For nearly six decades. I've done it a few times before. Don Espy has had scissors in his hand <laughs> and clients ready to look their best. Go ahead and cut this about the same way we have been. Yeah. At times, he's worn several hats, including makeshift therapist. They say barbers and bartenders hear a lot of stories, and we do. But at the end of the month, the 80-year-old barber will cut hair for the final time and retire. But I met a lot of interesting people, you know. A passion he's on. had since he was 20. When I graduated from Fern Creek in May of 60, I started the barber school the next month, and I've been at it ever since. At the same time, he began a career as a firefighter, eventually becoming chief of Fern Creek's department, Reminders are never far away. I can see debris going He's done more than 250,000 haircuts, so including some of nice Louisville's most though. famous, <laughs> many at his Bardstown Road location. Had. I had the opportunity <laughs> to cut Colonel Sanders' hair a few times, and uh, at first at Gardner Lane, and later when we moved up here. Thomas Pattison has been coming here to see Espy for 30 years. And I get to ask him about my family because he's cut my grandfather's hair, he's cut my dad's hair. I've got one family, I'm into the fifth generation of cutting their hair, so that's a pretty good run. Espy's shop is like a page in time. Turn you around so you can see. From the original there. barber chairs to a vintage cash register he still uses every day. It reminded me of coming in off the street and walking into to Mayberry a little bit. While he's ending his barber career, that doesn't mean Espy will be taking life easy. He and his wife plan on traveling and volunteering with their church. A lot of people say I would change this and I would change that, but I really wouldn't. And uh, so I've been blessed. I've been very blessed. Take care, Doug. In Louisville, Joel Skipper, WDRB News.